Okay, we're continuing on in our series about essential exercises that you can use on performance horses to get them to learn maneuvers, things that I think every horse needs to know. So this is number two. Once again, this is not my uh, training philosophy. This is something from Dick Peeper that I've stolen and used um, and kind of adapted in my own fashion. So number two is vertical flexion, basically collection, both going forward and back. And if you don't know what collection is, is basically a horse according their body tail to nose like this, which makes their back go up. Now, do they have to do that all the time? No, but in some maneuvers, they will need to know how to do that to either turn tighter or things like that. So I like to teach them to not necessarily get real tight, but not resist it. So what I will do first to make it real easy for this horse, and I'll stay on the side here, is teach this horse collection going backwards, especially if they're young or troubled. All I'm going to do is have my reins even and set my hands like a wall. As soon as I feel them come off or lean, I'm going to drop that. This will develop itself into an actual backup at some point in time. So for a while, just like number one, I'm just concerned about what it feels like, not what it looks like. So you probably saw that horse go back, but his head didn't get soft. So I'm trying to teach him to not only go back, but also get soft. In order for him to get back and get soft, he actually has to collect. And so for a while, um, I'm going to only do this going backwards until this horse is pretty quickly responsive to my hands. And I might give each step if they're really troubled. So you see that? I'm just going to release right there. Okay, in any of these exercises, I like to, you know, use them to release into a reining maneuver or a performance horse maneuver. So I'm going to walk this horse forward. The actual release that I teach one is technically the stop. So release them into a stop instead of pull them into a stop, but it's actually releasing them into a backup. What I want this horse to realize is they can go forward. I can put their body real tight together. And if I don't tell them to go forward like this, I'm asking them to go backward like that, which the stop happens without even trying. So I'm gonna walk forward um, across the camera here so you can kind of see this. So I'm gonna put my legs on and ask this horse to give. For a while, I'll ask him to give and then drop my hands instead of release him into a stop and a back. So it'll be like this, my hands are even, my legs go in, mostly my toes go down. I'll wait for him to get soft. It might take a second there. If they're having trouble with this, you can try to go back to number one and use your outside balancing rein to teach them to get bridled. But for now, I'm just gonna do that, okay? So here, I'm gonna show you how I would take number two going forward and release it into a stop. I just take my legs off, and as soon as he comes back and gets soft, that's, that's where I stop. So I use that exercise to start to work those reining maneuvers of both the stop in the back. So that's number two of the essential things that I think a performance horse needs to know how to do. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.